Chairwoman Cantwell, Ranking Member Reich, and members of the committee, thank you for inviting me to testify on state-level experiences and work with the STEP program. My name is Mark Calhoun, and I manage the Washington State Export Promotion Program. I also serve on the State International De Development Organization Board, CITO. States play a key role in helping small businesses start or expand their international sales. State export promotion programs are typically an integral part of a statewide economic development strategy that delivers a range of support and services to small businesses in order to drive economic growth and create jobs. The state of Washington has provided export promotion assistance to small businesses since the late 1970s. We are a very trade-oriented state, the fourth largest state exporter in the U.S. We work closely with our federal partners in Seattle to coordinate resources and provide the best service to small businesses. Our office is co-located with the U.S. Export Assistance Center, XM Bank, the SBA Export Solutions Group, and the Export Finance Assistance Center of Washington. The STEP program has played a valuable role in helping small businesses expand export sales, and I'll use some examples of our activities and results in Washington to show how important STEP is for small businesses. By way of background, Washington received a total of $3 million in STEP funding to date. With STEP support, we provided export assistance to 446 small businesses, resulting in an increase of $136 million in actual export sales and $276 million in forecasted export sales. The results underscore the critical importance of federal funding to Washington's export assistance program for small businesses. The STEP grants received by our state help fund successful new initiatives, such as our export voucher program, export promotion in India for the first time for Washington State, and participation in a series of targeted industry trade shows in Europe. Participation and results from these and other steps, STEP activities are on target to generate a potential return of more than $135 for every $1 of STEP funds, and actual returns were $45 to $1. HAS offers, which Senator Cantwell mentioned, uh, is a great technology early stage company in Seattle uh, that tracks the effectiveness of e-advertising campaigns. And I wanted to give just a quick update on their export activities as a result of STEP. In late 2011, they had not engaged in international sales, uh, but at that point realized their opportunities being a web-based um, service provider. They came to us to um, talk about how they could get into the Europe market, and we gave them an export voucher, which enabled them to go to a key trade show in Barcelona called Mobile World Congress and join a group of other Washington State technology companies in attendance in February of 2012. That resulted in uh, first-time export sales for the company, which now represent 40% of their overall business and allowed them to grow from 50 employees in early 2012 to 190 employees today. As Congress considers the reauthorization of the STEP program, I'd like to add my support to some key recommendations from CITO. Firstly, that STEP should become a permanent federal program. Second, to ensure collaboration, there should be a member of the state promotion agencies on the Trade Promotion Coordination Committee. It will be nearly impossible to develop a coordinated state-federal plan without a seat at the table. Thirdly, we need to develop a working group to coordinate information sharing and report metrics to make sure Congress receives information it needs in a timely manner. Return on investment is a priority for states. We'd like to ensure that the federal share of funding in the STEP program stays at 75%. And lastly, we'd like to encourage that you make step reauthorization and agency coordination a priority in the current trade agenda. In conclusion, I'd like to make sure that we don't take our focus away from the key ob objective of STEP, that small businesses are critical to the economic success of our country, and increasingly international markets are vital <laughs> to the growth and prosperity of small businesses. Exports create and support above family wage jobs here in the U.S., and are a critical component to the ability of small businesses to compete and grow in the global economy. I appreciate the invitation and time with you today and look forward to uh, your questions. Thank you.